playing together for five or six years now in, in different uh, permutations. can't remember the first one we did, but maybe we've played some Charlie Parker music, we've played some Lee Konitz, Lenny Tristano, Warm Marsh music. And also a band playing all net Coleman tunes called In All Languages. And also another band. So there's quite a few projects that I've kind of instigated. Another one is called Charakesi, which is an Indian Arab inspired groove band that we're in together. And quite a few times over the years we've just played together, just standards or free, duo, you know, just not gigs or anything, but just played. So and we've practiced an awful lot together, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we've practiced together. And the duo is just, that's an extension of just all the practice that we've we've done for all these various it, bands um, and that's improvised true, on our yeah, own. Exactly, yeah. So if it kind of feels like, well, let's document this then. And uh, so we both bought some tunes. We improvise. There's, there's going to be one completely free improvisation on the album. And other than that, there's, there's a disguised standard that we don't really play the melody of. And then we both bought some tunes, didn't we? And, mm. and we're quite different composers. So I suppose that's that's how that's what's led us to this recording. Um, we both enjoy our, the blending of each other's sounds and I think that, um, well I especially enjoy that. Um, so to hear these tunes, these tunes are, we've played with different bands, haven't we? And But, but it, it seems it seemed good to air them just as a duo, just to see how they would sound. And, yeah. and also just having the timbre of our two voices playing them. It's, um, it's been interesting to explore. There, there was a moment when, I, and we talked about it, um, recording in a church, which often solo saxophone players or solo instrumentalists, many do because of the the sound, mainly because of the sound. Those buildings have a, often have a special energetic quality as well. And I'd like to do that anyway at some point. I think we'll probably do that at some yeah, point. Yeah, that would be really interesting to do. But I've, I've used, we're in Porcupine Studios and I've used it a lot. I mean, I recently recorded duo. I've recorded a lot of duos over the years, so I like playing duo. And recently recorded a duo with Jeff Williams, a drummer, and Alcione Mick, a piano player. So I'm kind of used to the studio, and I really like Nick and the, and the, the engineer who owns the studio and gets the sound pretty quickly. So I thought rather than trying to find a church or book a church, I, I thought, well, let's just do it in here anyway and see see what happens. And I think that's that's what's led me to 
this situation as regards to playing duos. I've played in saxophone quartets before, so there's more people, was this four people, it's, and, but it's without a traditional rhythm section. So, but when you've got a saxophone quartet, particularly the one I played in years ago, which you think was people, we thought people were functioning as a rhythm section anyway, when they weren't improv, when they weren't actually soloing, you know, playing a rhythmic pattern or something. But in this situation, I don't know whether there's any time when we really do that, is there? Where we, one of us plays as if it's a rhythm section accompanying. I don't think there's I think any we do. pace, I think is there? Not, not actually written, but, um, I think in our improvisations, I think I, I'd start doing a, a repetitive phrase more and, um, and you play off it. I think that we've, we've done, it, it's just happened, that that's happened in, in a couple of the tunes I seem to remember. Right, that's sort of hinting at a rhythm section, I suppose, yeah. only for a tiny bit, but may, I would think, I suggest that most of the time we're quite improvising quite freely. Are there any of these got structures? Yeah. One of the tunes has got a traditional chord sequence, has not it? In denial, your tune. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's another one. The, the Moonlight is based on a standard, but it's played very rubato. I mean, the thing about playing a duo, the less players you have, the less you have to deal with. Right? You're only dealing with each other. You know, and it's quite liberating in, in one way, not having a traditional rhythm section and when we I get it and you get it we get it in different contexts you know we look because I love playing with rhythm sections and drummers bass players whatever, whatever. but um, it feels very immediate to me because we just do the take and that's it and there's no because it's just us doing it um, it can it all happened very quickly you know you, you we did a few takes of, of these tunes but but we just do them and it, it just feels very very quick for some reason and as though there's not not hardly any thought put in really there's there's a mm. skeleton of a, a tune but it's really in the moment and drawing from just what's there at that moment um, in a way that when you've got more people and more sounds that that complicates it in some way. This seems very pure. Yeah. The way it's conceived. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's felt it's felt very easy to do the whole the whole process, and the the tunes really work. Just the, the different approach compositionally um, to to the music is really great. I think if we were in the same, if we approached it in the same way. Well, it would just be different. It would, it would, it's quite different characters, and although we're into some of the same things, it's that compositionally. You'll see when you buy the CD how how contrasting the pieces are. I think we we'd played so much together over the last five or six years in different things. It it was inevitable this would happen. I was because we'd played because. As you said, we might practice the music in the other bands together, but only on a, the two of us sometimes. You know, all my tunes for Charakesi, all Ornette Coleman tunes. Um, so, as I probably said earlier, it's like an extension of that. Well, let's, let's, let's play just our music together. Nice then. There are probably not that many saxophone duos. It's kind of a nice, different thing to do, you know. To release. Yeah, it's quite um, a statement, isn't it? Really. So, um, yeah, there's no safety net. No. <laughs>